we want a white Christmas, this is how we have to do it in Arizona. Good morning, Box. I just want to say uh, the reaction to yesterday's video for Adelaide's birthday has been incredible and I want to thank you guys so much. If you have not seen it, um, it will be linked down below, but um, yesterday was Adelaide's fifth birthday, who was our daughter who was stillborn. And so we made a special video for her. It took a lot of work. I've wanted to do that every single year and every single year I have failed to do it because we film and then it just gets too stressful to go back and edit. So Ken was up for six hours last night editing after we filmed. It took about four hours to film, which means that we didn't get to do a lot of the things that we normally do for her birthday. So um, we have the toys that I picked up at Walmart yesterday morning. And this is our first year in Phoenix, so I didn't really know where to go to drop off the toys. But fortunately, I got a message on Facebook saying that there is a toy drop off here at the mall. So that is what we are doing right now. I woke the girls up bright and early not bright and early, but a little early, so that we could drop off these toys to donate. And that is, I think, an important lesson to teach our children. Rosalind's starting to get to an age where she really learns it, that there are people that are less fortunate than her. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready to go drop them off? Yeah. Do you think that they're gonna like them? Yeah. Okay. That's very nice. My it, shoe broke. Yes, it did. <laughs> we need to get you a new pair of shoes. Yeah. Good thing we're at the mall. It looks like there's actually a really long line to drop off the toys. So I guess other people saw my face or saw the Facebook post too. Um, it opens in 10 minutes, so I think it's going to be fine. Roslyn's coping a little bit. She's like, I want to eat, I want to eat. So 10 more minutes and then the line will start moving, okay? in line. She had like a complete tantrum. So Ken took her off. She hasn't eaten breakfast, so I think he wants to take her to go eat. Um, but we are closer to the front now. Irene is eating. And um, hopefully, we'll, hopefully she'll calm down and she can participate and actually give them the toy. Otherwise, I'll just have to do it, I guess. Roslyn is having the hardest time, but we just dropped off the toys and we got tickets to Disney on Ice. So we get to see Elsa. That's really cool. I'm wearing her. Yes, <laughs> this I've never noticed. happens. Say hi, fire truck. Okay, we're gonna go try and find mommy some shoes, okay? And we're gonna go get everyone breakfast because everyone's really, really hungry. And when we dropped off the toys, we actually won tickets to go see Elsa. Do you want to go meet Elsa? No, I want to meet Elsa and Anna. And the trolls. You want to eat, meet Elsa and Anna and the trolls. That's where the trolls are coming from. So we <laughs> have now gotten to Starbucks so that everyone can get breakfast, but I just realized that I don't have my Starbucks card in the backpack. So that means one of two things. Either, hopefully, I left it in the car, which I'm about to go check, or when I handed them my toy in my plastic bag, which is now amongst all the other toys, I'm glad this is amusing. My credit card and my driver's <laughs> license were in there, Ken. Um, it's oh, still, okay, in, that's okay. yeah, it would be in the plastic bag that I handed them the toy in. So we're gonna go check the car and hopefully that's where it's at. If not, I have to go ask if I can cut in line and dig through all of the toys. It was in the car. It was in the car. <laughs> yes, along with my other card. So Excellent. we're good. I don't have to dig through donated yeah, toys. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see if they have any chocolate chip muffins, okay? Okay. Okay. Here's this pigeon just eating your muffin. Hi, yeah. pigeon. Yeah. I mean, Ew. you know, I won't because it's a <laughs> I don't hate birds, but I don't like pigeons that close to me. I have friends who, like, literally are terrified of birds. Yep. I don't mind them, but that pigeons. was weird. It flew and hit the bottom of my chair. They're eating breakfast over at Starbucks, and I am going to run into the mall real quick and see if I can find some shoes. And then we're going on to our next extra special surprise. So I found a pair and they are on sale for $7. But the problem is that these ones are size eight and I wear size seven. These are the exact same shoes and it looks like the sticker's been pulled off. So I'm gonna see if they'll honor this price in the right size. Good news guys, they honored the $7 price tag. These are not the best shoes, but I just need something that I can walk around in. Um, so goodbye boots. It's 
been nice knowing you. Now I can officially walk around without my shoe falling off. It's a shame. I, um, I really need shoes that I can wear with dresses because most of my shoes I really can't or they're like open toed and while it is warm in Arizona, I'm a wimp and don't do well with the cold. Probably should have gotten nicer shoes than this. I'm not a huge fan of these actually, but I was just like, I'm just gonna grab what I can right now and maybe we'll buy some more later that I like a little bit better. I feel like I'm wearing house slippers. <laughs> now we've got a new problem. Um, we hardly ever go to this mall and I moved with such purpose trying to find shoes. I don't remember how I got here. I get lost a lot. Got lost in Seattle and now I'm lost in the mall. Uh, should be easy enough because we were at Starbucks, but there's more than one Starbucks in this mall too. So I think this is the direction I came from. Look, I found them again. Reunited. I got lost. Oh, okay. What do you think of my uh, very fancy shoes? Very fancy. We ate a pigeon. What? No, I'm just kidding. We caught one though. You caught a pigeon? No, I'm just kidding. I should have left the camera one. with you. Rosalyn wants one though. You want to carry it? Thank you for being such a good helper. Some interesting facts about Arizona. In Phoenix right now, it is 64 degrees, and this is what the sky looks like. Blue sky. Blue, clear, empty sky. But being that it is 64 degrees, um, there are some things that we miss out on when it comes Christmas season. We're gonna do something really special for little Rosalind back there. doesn't really get snow. So the shopping center was having like a snow day that Which I thought is, would be fun. Oh. oh. Rosalind just. Stop box, stop it. It's oh. not Box's fault. You ran into it. You ran in a say. box. Stop it, box, stop it. Okay, okay, we're gonna vlog now. Don't run into it again. Okay. So anyways, we um, brought the girls and they kind of played. I tried to film a little bit with Irene, but kids were throwing snowballs at us. So yeah. I was like, mm, this is not a good thing for Irene. But now we are on our way over to Target to get lunch and water. Water, because they did not have water there, so. And, yeah, and it's hot. It's very warm. <laughs> There's snow and it's It's hot. like 70 degrees right now. Yeah. Which I know for some of you, yeah, but for Arizona in December. I have a flower. You do have a flower. It's beautiful. She's so, so cute. cute. It is not that funny, <laughs> honey. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> no, it's not true. What is this? You know what this is? It's a brachiosaurus. I mean, Ken cannot stop laughing at this. I think this is amazing, and I love this. If you're happy and you know it, clap your... Oh. And it's funny, because it's a brachiosaurus. He doesn't have hands. And he... <laughs> anyway. He just, like, I'm lost sorry. it. He couldn't I'm stop sorry. laughing. I think, that's what's, I think that's the most hilarious thing I've seen all day today. <laughs> She's fixing the engine for our airplane. So we can take off here. You got it? All fixed? Ready? I'm just mimicking my car problems, so. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> Amazing dancing baby wearing dad. So I just posted a picture of Rosalind playing in the snow 
and Meg from Smarty and Stevo. Um, if you guys have not checked them out, you should check out their channel. She actually just had a baby after infertility, so um, I'll link their birth story down below. But they are a really, really awesome channel. And she lives in Canada, and she commented, she's like, whoa, that's more snow than we have. And it occurred to me, people don't know what man-made snow is if you don't live in Arizona. So I was trying to explain it to her. I was like, it's fake. And she's like, oh, it looks real. And I was like, well, it's man-made. <laughs> um, but I was like, yeah, I guess that wouldn't be a thing that most, most other places know about, because most other places have snow. But... If we want a white Christmas, this is how we have to do it in Arizona. But I did want to say, um, this is my dress. I will be wearing dresses for the entire month of December for December. So if you want to help support our December, um, our goal is $800. And last I checked, we hadn't gotten any of it yet. You guys, we have 13,000 subscribers. If each of you gave $1, we would reach our goal in a day. Um, so if you want to help end sex trafficking this year, you can do that down below, there will be a link. I am going through some of your comments and I'm so touched by what everyone has said on yesterday's video. I've always, always, always wanted to do that kind of video for Adelaide for her birthday every single year. And every single year, by the time we got to editing, I just couldn't. And Ken actually put it together yesterday and I think it was absolutely perfect. But the comments have overwhelmed us today. You guys have been so, so, so incredible. If you did not see the video, um, it is emotional. But I have never been more proud of a video on either of my channels. So um, that will be linked below if you have not checked it out. But um, I just wanted to thank you guys for all your encouraging words yesterday. This community that we've created is just incredible. And if you are new to it, hit the subscribe button. You will not regret being a part of what this has become because if yesterday taught me anything, it's that our subscribers are the best subscribers in the world. Um, so if you're new, subscribe and you can be part of that.